Hello, my name is Stiley Hayward. I would like to welcome you to the Blessed Hope Ministry. We are a King James grounded family Bible study. These lessons are not to be a substitute for regular church attendance. Nightly I direct my family through the Bible by chapter and verse. We request you to join us and to study from God and His Son Jesus Christ. You may have permission to like, send, or encourage our studies with family or friends. Edification of what God has and what He desires in our life. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divine the word of truth. You may use our studies, but I request that you do not abuse them. For YouTube videos, subscribe below for more videos. And place the thumbs up and leave a comment or email me. Thank you. Genesis 46 and Israel took his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba, where she was on the way to Egypt, and offered sacrifices unto the God of, the, of his father Isaac. We know he's the God of Jacob too, but out of respect of the father, his father, God spake unto Israel in the visions of the night. He said, Jacob, Jacob, he said, here am I. And he, and he said, I am God. The God of thy father, Isaac, fear not to go down in Egypt. Now, that's the only time God's going to say that. You mark that down. For the rest of the Bible, God's going to tell you, don't go down to Egypt. But God is going to send them down to Egypt, and he's, they're going to get such rigor treatment of the Egyptians. They're going to... Huh? With Jesus. As far as the nation of Israel, they're going to make their bondage so hard and eat in Exodus, they're going to cry to God, and God's like, I hope you don't want to go back. And even the wilderness journey, they saw the plagues, they saw everything, they want to go back. Fear not to go down to Egypt, for I, Egypt's the type of the world in the Bible. The field is. is is the type of the world. For I will there make thee a great nation. So the nation of Israel as a population is going to begin in Egypt. Persecution will rise against Israel and they will grow and grow and grow. Do you know where else persecution has made a growth of population? The book of Acts. The more they persecuted Christians, the more Christians there were. You know why America is not populous in the Christian nation? Because we got the Constitution to protect us. They're not going out in the streets. They're not living their lives with Jesus Christ. No one's seen, hey, you know, that guy, that family, they're taking a beating for their God. It must be a real. I will go down with thee into Egypt. And I will surely bring thee up again, prophecy. I'm going to bring you down. I will bring. Now, he's not going to bring Jacob himself. Joseph will bring his dead body. But corporate Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the 12 tribes, this is the people Israel. I'll bring them up again. And Joseph shall put his hand upon thy eye. And Jacob rose from Beersheba. The sons of Israel carried Jacob their father. And he's old. They're carrying him. And their little ones, little ones, you know, they put them up on the wagons and on the horses, whatever they had, which Pharaoh had sent to carry them. And they took their cattle and their goods, which they had gotten in the land of Cana, and came into Egypt, Jacob and all his seed with him. His sons and his son's sons. There's your grand. Grandsons. Son's sons. With him. His daughters. Daughters, plural. This doesn't have to be his daughter, Dinah. And his son's daughters. And his seed brought he with him into Egypt. These are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt. Alright, came 
into Egypt. Now, the rest of this chapter, the verse 27, we got to get right because when we get to Exodus, we're going to come back here. We're going to say that the Bible's wrong because of the numbers and people don't know how to read the English language. Into Egypt, Jacob and his sons, Reuben's, Jacob's firstborn, the sons of Reuben, Hanak, Helu, Hezron, and Carmi. Five sons. Son and grandsons. The sons of Simeon, Jemuel, Jemin, Ohad, and Jachim, and Zohar, and Shul, and the son of a Canaanite woman. Seven sons. Look how the Bible records. Here's a mixed marriage. Like, you know, this guy married the wrong woman. And the sons of Levi, Gershon, Kohath, Merari, four sons. The sons of Judah, Ur and Onan, and Shelah, and Pharaz. I mean, that meant uh, a breach. That's the one that, you know, him and his brother, they, they struggled out of the mother's womb with a red thread. And Zara. But Ur and Onan died in the land of Cana. And the sons of Pharaoh was Hezron and Hemuel. Not counting the dead. Six sons total. You don't rule out the ones. These are the ones that are going into Egypt. And the sons of Issachar. Tola and Pavah. And Job. That's not the Job. The book of Job. And Shimron, five sons. And the sons of Zebulun, Sered, Elon, and Jehiel, four sons. These be the sons of Leah, which she bare unto Jacob in Panoram, that's where Laban, with his daughter, one. So we got 33 sons no excuse me take that back 30 sons and 33 with leah and the daughter but 30 sons all the souls of his sons and his daughters were 33 minus dinah and minus uh, leah 31 we count 31 sons the daughter and the mother are not counted. The sons of Gad, Ziphron, and Haggai, Shunai, Ezbron, Uri, and Ordori, and Ariel, Ariel, eight. The sons of Asher, Jumno, and Isha, and Ishai, and Beriah, and Sarai, their sister, and the sons of Berari, Heber, and Malchuai. Eight. These are the sons of Zilpha. Sixteen sons add the sister. Seventeen. But we're counting the sons. And they're divided by their mothers. So we're going from Leah to Zilpha. Zilpha, if you remember, she was the one that was Leah's handmaid. Whom Laban gave to Leah his daughter, and these she bare unto Jacob, even sixteen souls. You say there are seventeen names without Sarai, the daughter. And the sons of Rachel, it tells you the sons. The sons of Rachel, Jacob's wife. And it's funny because it says the sons of Leah, it doesn't say Jacob's wife. Joseph and Benjamin. And unto Joseph in the land of Egypt. He's not going to Egypt. He's already there. Were born Manasseh and Ephraim. Which Manasseh is the daughter of Panai Pharaoh, Priest of An. Bear unto him. There's three right there. But there are already three in Egypt. The sons of Benjamin. Were Bella and Beecher and Ashmael and Gera and Naaman and Ehi and Rosh and Muffin and Huffin. I don't know what they were thinking with those two boys. They had to have been twins. 
Huffin and Muffin, and Ard. These are the sons of Rachel. Oh, by the way, that one's 11. That's a lot of boys. Benjamin is old enough to be married and have children. Mark that passage. When Jacob comes into Egypt. And, oh, wait, excuse me. These are the sons of Rachel which were born to Jacob. All the souls were 14. Well, counting Rachel would be 15. And these numbers will come back later in Exodus. And the sons of, and it's funny here, the sons of Dan, plural, Hushi, Hushima, two. Dan is that tribe you got to watch out for. When you read Dan, you guys, hey, you got to pay attention to no. know. Just like Ishmael. That first child born out of proxy. Ishmael is an enemy of nations, and nations are an enemy to Ishmael. Dan, he's a type of Antichrist. So, two. And the sons of Nephtali, Jezeel, Gunai, Zezer, Jezezer, and Shalom. Five. These are the sons of Bilhah. Which Laban gave unto Rachel his daughter, and she bare these unto Jacob. All the souls were seven. And it's kind of funny with this one because you do get seven boys, adding one for the mother, eight. All the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt. All the souls that came with Jacob into Egypt, which come out of his loins. Leah, Zilpha, Rachel, and Bilhah did not come from Jacob. They are his wives. That's how you got to read the Bible. Of his lines, besides Jacob's son's wives, there's not counting the wives that married his boys, all the souls were three score and six. Sixty-six. These are 66 children of Jacob, not his wives, not his daughters, and not counting Joseph, because Joseph is already in Egypt. That's how you read that. Exodus is going to change, because Exodus is going to put Joseph in the equation. And the sons of Joseph, which were born him in Egypt, now here's the cause, were two souls. All the souls of the house of Jacob which came into Egypt were three score and ten. Seventy. That's the children and the wives without Joseph. Sixty-six boys add four mothers. Don't include the daughters. There's the number seventy. And he sent Judah before him unto Joseph. Now notice that he Judah, go forth. We're on our way. Prepare Joseph. To direct his face unto Goshen. And they came into the land of Goshen. Now how far Judah went forth, I don't know. But of all the, all the 11 boys, he chooses Judah. And Judah is a type of Jesus Christ in that tribe. And Judah is the one that made surety. And Joseph made ready his chariot and went up to meet Israel, his father, to Goshen, and presented himself unto him. <coughs> he fell on his neck and wept on his neck and a good while. Now, like I said, well, that's where they got the expression necking from in the Bible. And Israel said unto Joseph, Now let me die, since I have seen thy face, because thou art alive. He's happy. He's joyful. Here's his son that he loved. And Joseph said unto his brethren, and unto his father's house, I will go up and show Pharaoh, and say unto him, My brethren and my father's house, which were in the land of Canaan, are come unto me. I'm going to look at Pharaoh. You guys are here. You're all right. And the men, Joseph's family, are shepherds. For their trade had been to feed cattle, and they have brought their flocks and their herds and all they have. 
And it shall come to pass, when Pharaoh shall call you, he shall say, What is your occupation? That ye shall say, Joseph speaking, Thy servant's trade have been about cattle from our youth even unto now. Tell him about the cattle, but don't tell him about the shepherds. Don't give too much information. From our youth even unto now, both we and also our fathers, that we may dwell in the land of Goshen. Now, here we go. For every shepherd is an abomination unto the Egyptians. That's the second time, the second place abomination shows up in the Bible. The first time the abomination shows up, the Hebrew people are an abomination. We don't want God's people around us. The second time it shows up, we don't want the shepherds. And according to John chapter 10, the shepherd, according to Peter, I forget where it says, but he says, the chief shepherd, the world does not want Jesus Christ. They do not want Christians. And we're going to come across another abomination in Exodus 8, 6, 26, the third abomination, which is about the Egyptians toward God's people. So, Jacob has now come into the land of Israel. He has seen Joseph. What a remarkable thing. And about, you know, just, all right, Jacob, oh, I see you, my son. Oh, let me die. It, you know it was a lot more than that. You know they spent, if not half hour, hours just, oh, I can't believe it's you. Let me touch you. Let me, oh. You know? great thing to have the Word of God.